Hey guys, so as you know, I do house tours. We actually just did MTV Pats. Today I figured, well, I know another famous YouTuber, my husband, Michael McCrudden. We already showed you our house when we first moved in, which was like last year, but a lot has changed since then. We've updated things, there's been some renovations. So I am going to be handing it over to Michael and let's go inside. Hey. Hello. This way. Hi. Oh, you, you know this place. Oh, yeah. I know those guys. They went crazy. We ran the door and they ran to the back. <laughs> yes. Relax. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome to our uh, our home. But it's also our studio. We work out of this house now. So I'm going to do a tour because we've been working really hard on fixing this house up. But it's not there yet. In fact, we're going to start with the backyard. And let's just say it's a work in progress. Here we go. All right, so I guess before we go to the backyard, we gotta take a look at some of the cars we have because this is like our version of MTV Cribs. First, we'll start off with Kara's car, which uh, surprisingly or not, I drive more than the nice car. It's just like a 2012 Jeep Compass. She had a Honda Civic when we were dating. She started doing YouTube videos. And I think it was her first month or like, you know, her first good month on YouTube. We just bought this car used. But uh, it's been really reliable. We like it. It's a bit of a family car. But of course, not the primary vehicle. You don't pull up in this. So the Bronco is, uh, I was driving a Mustang for about eight years. In fact, my buddy Ben barfed in it. So then we were like, we can't get the smell out. It's time to get rid of the car. You'll meet Ben in just a second. But the Bronco here, uh, you know, we had our eye on it. It's a pretty sweet thing. You know, you want to get something bigger, more roomy. The Bronco was uh, definitely catching our eyes. We did have a hard time getting a hard top. We only got a soft top. There's been like delays in, in like assembly for all sorts of vehicles. But still, this thing's pretty sweet when I do get to drive it because Kara takes the keys and puts me back in the Jeep. Guys, get it married. It's not all you think it is. You gotta share a lot of things. Anyway, let me show you the backyard. So I've had to learn a few things being a homeowner. I mean, if you break it, you gotta fix it. I had to park the Jeep back here once because someone actually broke into it, broke our window. So the Jeep had to go back here and then pulling it out, I broke some wood. But I, I was handy enough, I was able to fix it. But the, there's more work to be done. So as you can see, this is, uh, this is actually an extra lot next to our house. So our house is on one lot and this is a vacant lot that come, came with our property. So the previous owners had put a pool there because it was like a big ditch. But then the deck. We bought this house in the winter. It was kind of covered up. We didn't know that uh, the deck needs an entire rebuild. So a lot of these boards are actually here to keep people from falling through. It's not the safest. I've even been like burning or chopping up old pieces of wood because they're just too decrepit to even use or walk on. Uh, but you know, listen, I, I grew up with like my dad in the trades. So I'm, a, I'm handy, I can do these things. It's just a lot of time. When I'm not making videos, I gotta go outside because I got trees to cut down or I got pieces of the deck to replace or the pool. The pool is like a full-time job. So people that have, like followed me for many years on YouTube, this was actually one of our iconic set pieces. I used to sit in front of this or we would take photos in front of it at like the Toronto studio. It's kind of like my thumbnail come to life. Now, I was running out of places to put it. It's too big to move into the basement. It's hard to get through all the doors, get around a corner. So it ended up in the garage. And then I was cleaning out the garage and I'm like, I do have this canopy and it isn't winter. So I decided to move it out here. Now I do have the idea sometime that I'm gonna like come out here and film a few videos, but then I gotta move all the camera equipment outside. I've yet to do it, but it could be done. I don't know, it'd be kind of cool to like film a video and then jump in the pool. All right, so for me, like the goal was getting on YouTube. I did not so much wanted to be famous. I wanted to be a homeowner. I wanted to have a wife. I wanted to live like the American dream or the Canadian dream. So when this house came with a pool, I was like, wow, that's probably as good as it gets. Like you get a big house, a beautiful wife and a pool for the summer. I mean, uh, what else can a guy ask for? But on top of that, they also gave us a pool house. Then they gave us a garage with all sorts of stuff. There's a pond with fish. All right, so the guys who owned this house previous to me, I say guys, it was a married couple. They were big gardeners. They had every vegetable, every plant. There's berries that grow back there. Now, I'm not a gardener. I just put like all this mulch on top of it because 
It's just another project I don't really have time for, but maybe something we'll get back to. All right, come this way. We got this gazebo, beautiful. I spent a lot of time out here, you know, enjoying the weather. We used the barbecue. We got a little place to sit. Uh, we turn on the lights at night. We got something that kills all the bugs. This is kind of like my spot. And I would say the garage is my man cave, but that too, it's another like project I'm working on. Come on. Some of this stuff was from my Toronto studio. I remember that was there, some tables. And then this is like the big ticket item. If I got like one thing to show off, it's got to be the, uh, the Dumb and Dumber hot tub. Now, I made the news because of this. It was in the original 1994 movie Dumb and Dumber. I'm a huge Jim Carrey fan. I saw it on the news for sale. And I was like, shit, I never really bought myself like anything. Like, you know, I had a car and I got a house. But I never had like a, a thing that like celebrated all the success or all the hard work. Kara got an engagement ring, for example. So when this hit the market, it was probably more expensive than I should have paid, but I did it anyway. I got the whole thing shipped. It was in Vancouver, like on an island. Anyway, they put it in a crate. They sent it to my house, and I only opened it when I moved in here. I've yet to use it. I don't know where to put it, but Jim Carrey knows I have it, and it's pretty cool. Can we get in it? You want to get in? Sure. <laughs> <clears throat> So this is my best friend, Ben. I guess I'm Lloyd Christmas and he's Harry Dunn. And the two of us might break the thing, Yeah. but let's give it a go. Hold on, I'm coming yeah. in, I'm coming in. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Barely. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This is a dream. This is an amazing, uh, this is incredible. If it, yeah, this would be weird if it had water in it. But yeah. It's cool. yeah. It fits too comfortably. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. We should do some Jim Carrey skits in here. I mean, sure, yeah. some Dumb and Dumber skits. Yeah, yeah. I always have to play the other guy. This is funny. You have any uh, rakes? I don't see any rakes in here. Oh, we got rakes. Oh, yeah. We got rakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yeah, yeah. Something's breaking. Yeah. All right, we better get out All of right, here. There we go. Yeah. yeah. All right, so here's our pond. I, I guess this would be like the, the traditional backyard. And we were lucky enough that they had actually built a pond and it, the house came with three giant goldfish. Then we added a whole bunch more. We had koi fish and a bunch of baby goldfish, but I was cleaning it and I moved the fish and then I put them back in and then I added tap water and I went wrong somewhere because the, the fish one by one were not. Mm. So I, I'm in a lot of trouble. I got to replace the fish, but it is a brand new clean pond. So the next guy, the next generation, they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be living a better life. But I do like coming out here. It's kind of nice and peaceful. I sit down, I enjoy the view, I enjoy the sound of the waterfall. It's kind of like a, our little relaxation spot. Now, if you follow us on Instagram, especially if you follow Kara at Kara the Vampire Slayer, you'd know that, uh, you know, she calls him her soulmate, her dog Shiro, beloved. He sadly passed away earlier this year, and uh, it was a big hit for us. Now he's not buried here. We actually had him cremated, but we did decide to turn this little part here into a bit of a shrine you know we had uh we had a memorial for him when the news broke and the family came by and it's just a, a way to keep his memory alive because he was such an important guy to us and uh, we miss him so you'll see pictures and stuff of him all over the house he was like our first child really <clears throat> all right so speaking of dogs we have two uh this guy what's his name this is zebo he's amish um, he is a puppy. He's six months. He's the newest addition to the family. He's fit in pretty nicely. And then this is, this is Fitz, the Egyptian. They're both boys. He was a rescue from Egypt. He's much heavier than Zebo. He's porky. He's, he's strong. <laughs> now Fitz doesn't like me very much. Like he likes me. We hang out in the bed like at night, but he doesn't talk to me all day. He's very timid. He's like scared of everything, but we think that's because we adopted him from Egypt and, and maybe he, a, he was a street dog. Yeah. Maybe someone hit him or something when he was just a puppy, but he loves his mom and he loves the ladies. <laughs> he, he loves girls. <laughs> as for this guy, he loves everyone as long as they got treats. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And I called him Amish cause we got him from an Amish couple. <laughs> he, but he also ate a cord for our, this Peloton. And we're like, oh, he hates electricity and he hates the car. So he must be Amish. So this is obviously an extension. The house is actually really old. It's over hundred years old, built in 1911. 
So they added this onto the property going into the backyard and we've turned it into our living room. This is probably the most used space in the house. As you can see, there's dog toys and stuff everywhere, but it's really comfy. You have a nice view of the backyard here. Um, yeah, I usually work out back here, so that's why we put this new exercise bike back there. Yeah, we gotta make a video on that. Yeah, we do. I called it a Peloton, it's a Yisul. It's a Yisul, it's the, uh, the affordable Peloton. So instead of watching Netflix and laying on the couch, I will be riding that bike. Mm -hmm. Something we're working on, but this is typically like after, you know, seven o'clock, we have dinner, then we're sitting here watching shows and we're usually like, Oh, someone commented on this video or someone followed me. We're kind of talking about what's going on in the news before we get back to work the next day to make more videos. Mm -hmm. So this is like where we spend our downtime. Yeah. All right. So we're in the kitchen here. Now Kara's got to give you the tour because I don't even know what's in half these cupboards. The room, the room where Michael knows and does nothing. I'm not even, not even allowed he in the He just fridge. actually, he eats in here. So I do eat. Honest. I he drink. Eats. I don't feed anyone but myself. Yeah. Anyway, my wife runs the kitchen, so let her let her take it away. Um, great kitchen. One of the reasons we bought them um, probably, or at least I thought it was a fur for we bought so. Um, took a while to organize everything, but we came from a really small condo. Our kitchen in that condo was especially small, so it was so nice to have room for all my appliances every day. We had double ovens. I've actually never used the bottom one yet. No, we use the top one. And yeah, it's just a really nice, big kitchen. So as I mentioned, it's a pretty old house. We don't go in these rooms that often. They're actually closed off so that the dogs don't go in there and do a number two, which they often do. And then the, the robot that cleans the floor, it drags it all over the room. But today- That, that only happened once. I'm the one who, had a, who stepped in it though. So I think we're safe today. We did an inspection, but yeah, this would be the, the fine dining room. It really gives me like vampire vibes, which is the, which is what Kara's vibe is. Well, we, we made it this way. I was, we painted it. you told me the color and I just got to work. We do use this room actually, because we don't really have a kitchen table. So this is where when family comes over, we will set this up and eat in here. But this is the, these are the original floors. This is all the original wood from like the 1900. Um, so that's pretty cool. And the chandelier we picked up at a vintage shop, it's even older than the house. It's like 200 years old. Now we haven't figured out the electrics just yet, but it, it definitely fits in with the whole vibe of, of what Kara was going for. Even like this gramophone behind you and uh, the painting your grandfather did, I just, yeah. It's spooky. It's cool. I love this room. I can't wait to have like Christmas dinner in here. I feel like we haven't done it yet. I feel like we did something. No, I can't remember. And then I'd say we're in this room even less. Like it, it'll be like the Christmas tree room. This furniture also is it. It's kind of, yeah, there's no light in here. So maybe open those, but like not built fully open the windows, but like the slit. No. So get that thing open. Oh, okay. All right, let's start over with this room. <clears throat> yeah. So we're, we rarely come in this room, as you can see. This is furniture I've taken from my grandpa's house because we have to move it out. And it's not supposed, it's not going to stay here. So it's, this couch is probably the only thing in, in that um, cloth. And the sub of the wall, that's all that's going to probably stay in here. And we'll eventually get this stuff out and make it a nice little like, formal living room eventually. But um, the dogs like this couch. <laughs> the robot that cleans the carpet guy, he gets stuck under that couch. Yeah, so. Oh, and show the map. Oh, I love the map. That, that's your thing. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm like really into history when I'm not doing the YouTube videos on Hollywood and pop culture. What I really like is history and Hamilton's full of it. And the guys who gave us this house or we bought it from, they left us with so many tokens to not only this house, but the city as well. So this here is a map of Hamilton from 1935. And uh, I guess they already had the lay of the land because they'd zoned everything. They built all the roads. 
but uh, it was, you know, almost 100 years ago. So I get to see a lot of uh, throwbacks to the old architecture. And this kind of like maps out, you know, where people were living or where like the downtown core was and, and certain things that I'll come back and see how it's changed. I just think it's cool they left it here and uh, it's not the only piece in the house. We got more to show you. Another thing, like uh, some family members are like work as carpenters. They were like really impressed with some of the craftsmanship with this house. We got pocket doors here. We got pocket doors back there. Zebo just broke in. <laughs> so they got to stay closed when you're training a new pup. But just like some of the woodwork here, again, on the flooring, up the stairs. Like it'd be really hard to replicate that now. We're just yeah. really lucky. It came with this old they're, house. They're cool because this part, this half of the house is the original part and the fact that they stayed in such nice condition. The previous owners, I feel like were always polishing them and whatnot, but they look great. Um, and then this, the entryway is my favorite, one of my favorite parts of the home. I think this is what made me be like, oh my gosh, Michael, we need to get this house. Yeah, we were looking at smaller houses and definitely something with just one lot. But this staircase was uh, when we walked in the front door. I always liked having double doors coming in because you yeah. like say goodbye to people. You can take off your, your shoes, shoes, your jacket in the winter in Canada. So I like that. But then when we saw the stairs, I was like, oh gosh. It looks like Casa Loma or something. Like I, I love the, the swirling stairs in the mm. wood. But um, also here, it's cool because they have like this it was like a, a butler's thing here. And when they would probably in the olden days have someone who's hanging up their coats and stuff. And I just like the window here and everything. I mean, not like I go hang out in the corner, but I just love that part of the house. I've hung out over there. Yeah, so just yeah. stand there. <laughs> I just boo people, yeah. <laughs> I got the cameraman. Okay, if we go upstairs or down. So upstairs is really cool, especially when you get to the attic but the basement's where we do all of our work and stuff. Why don't you do upstairs and I'll do the basement. Okay. Kara, take it away. Okay. So now I'm gonna show you guys the upstairs where all the bedrooms are. Um, so follow me. <laughs> so this is our bedroom, the master bedroom. Back in the day, it was actually a parlor so people used it. That's why there's a fireplace in here. People use it as like a sitting room, um, which is also why there's no closet in this room. But Michael and I think it has the best space. And usually when the windows are open, it has like really good light. It's just nice and um, cozy for a bedroom. I don't use the fireplace, but yeah. So this is the bedroom. Um, yeah. The bed, more of my dog. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I also kind of have a shrine to Shiro in here with pillows and my pictures of him. That was already there when he was alive, but I just left it there because we have a picture of the um, him and Fitz in each of the rooms. So Fitz has photos in another room. Um, since we don't, it's kind of messy in here. But since we don't have a closet, I turned the smallest bedroom into our closet because I have so much clothes. They left this, and so this is Michael's closet. They left this behind, so we just left that there. And for now, this is served well as a closet. I just can't change right here because then the neighbors will see me, so <laughs> I have to be careful. So these are just some plans that they also left hanging up. The previous owners left them back in 1911 or whenever. These are old plans from when they built the house way back then. So I will show you the boring room. This is just one of the guest rooms, but we don't have any um, furniture in here yet. It echoes. That's how little furniture there is. My suitcase. Um, we called this the buster room because that's a picture of Michael's family dog, and we just hung that one in here. I guess if I have like kids, this is where they're gonna be. So this is the guest room that's actually set up for guests. So this one's nice. I just keep the dogs out of here most of the time because it's white and it's a recipe for disaster, but we call this one the Fitz room because it's white. So 
If you're a guest and you come over, maybe this is the room you'll be staying at. This is the bathroom. This is the one that I get ready in all the time. So like my bathroom, but um, it's kind of a mess. I think if one room we had to renovate that's like outdated, this would be my first pick because it's kind of like retro, but not like the cute retro. It's just retro. <laughs> And then out here, we have this massive balcony because when they built the extension of the house, it's right over top of this. Um, sorry, yeah, this is right over top of the extension. But we haven't done anything with this yet because this is just like the membrane of the house. We need to lay out like a, a porch or something. So that's a project for another day. But we really do have all this space. If we wanted to, we can go peep in other people's backyards, you know? But yeah, it would be a great spot for sun tanning one day. So hopefully we can do that. So now I'm gonna take you guys up to the top floor or the attic. And usually when I was growing up, I feel attics were always like creepy, small spaces, but this attic is different. So let's go. Zebo's already up there. We're coming. Boom. Hello. Hello, we're playing games, come up. Oh, did Barney pass out? I know, I don't know what's going on up here. Is it like the <laughs> kids room or something? But we got uh, the, the Simpsons arcade game. Oh, oh, this is like a classic throwback. I got murdered. I, feel like I think Pokeru got murdered. Man, the nostalgia up here is incredible. I like, know, I, all my toys. Uh, I can't play anymore. This is, I quit drinking, but I still love having a beer. So this is alcohol-free beer from Woodhouse Brewing Co. It's the IPA. Delicious. So actually, some of this stuff was from our studio. That couch used to be downtown in a studio. This used to be the lunch table. But not Pokeroo. I cut the legs off and made it a coffee table. Kara's got all these like... My retro stuffed animals from children's shows. It's like really Canadian stuff, YTV. Hmm. And then, uh, I don't know, I think that's the first TV I bought when I, like, the first YouTube check I got, I bought myself a flat screen TV. And I think that's the one. Um, we're, we're working on getting this place all figured out, but there's Barney, there's a clown. I'm assuming, is this where the kids are going to play, I'm guessing? Yeah, but it's just a nice, it's a nice extra lounge area anyways. Like, you know, some people lounge in their basement. This is like our extra space watch out for zebo there zebo's eating my toys <laughs> so by the, when we were like looking at the house by the time we got up here we we're like man do we even need more house uh, i guess this is all like a bonus this is like a bar that you could probably fit like 20 people up here in the meantime we got ben staying in here so it's like our guest room um we could rent it out like add an extra staircase out the back but there's no shower up here yeah who needs a shower no, stinky people. They can jump rent in the pool, out. honey. Oh yeah. It's a, they go right. We're gonna build a slide right here down the house into the pool. They'll love it. Oh yeah. And then they'll come through the house with a towel. I don't know if a bathroom is impressive or whatnot, but I'm just gonna show it to you because there is a shower on the main floor. I'm not entirely sure why. I do know that there used to be servant stairs in this house, so I'm thinking they were in that space and they didn't know what to do with it. But those are heated floors in there. I guess that's like, if you come over, that's where you use the bathroom. Um, hey, nothing to see here. Come on downstairs. It's a bit of a mess because we've been doing renos, but when we got the house, not much was done to it. There was one room finished, which was a salon, and uh, we're turning that into a rental unit. So you can come on in. So uh, this was, yeah, it was actually like a hair salon. They used to have like people getting their hair cut. But then our plumbing went and it was this huge disaster. Like the entire house, the hundred year old clay pipes all cracked. They were, we probably shouldn't, we should have been notified before we got the house. And it was a huge problem. The whole basement was flooded, not the good kind of flood. So all of it had to come out in January. Anyway, when that happened, then we were like putting the room back together and we were like, well, you know, we don't need all this space for ourselves. So we're turning this into like a studio apartment, throw a bed in there, we'll give them a closet. There's a, a shower, a bathroom, that'll be a kitchen, and we might make it a little bit bigger in the future, but we're just gonna do one project at a time. Back here, just like more storage. Apparently they used to stole, uh, they used to, so back, 
Back here is just more storage, but apparently they used to uh, sto store the coal here, the coal for the furnaces or the, fi uh, the fireplaces. So I don't know, there's some history to a hundred year old house. More of that back here. I was actually doing like some like carpentry. I put together these storage shelves last weekend. Um, you know, just a lot of upkeep, trying to like make things perfect for us for like the next 30 years. Okay, so coming this way, this is another thing that we actually decided to, uh, to renovate. We, uh, we were working downtown in Toronto. We had a studio, but paying for that and then paying for the house, we are like, well, we should just merge the two together. So we made a big YouTube studio in our basement. Come on. That's laundry. Nothing really too cool to see there. It's a memorabilia. Uh, before they were famous, someone gifted me that. This is autographed by Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. Love that. And then, um, boom, this is where we do all our filming. So you got a few different sets in here. That's like the iconic before they were famous wall. We put some green screen there. We're supposed to put the clouds in those or you put some photos in it. I don't know how often we use it. Hard to light, but it does its job. Kara primarily films on a green screen. So that would be her all ready to go right now. She probably filmed earlier today. Then over here, I do interviews or I do the news. Sometimes I'll just make like anything. I'll just sit at the table change the screen and uh, we've done podcasts we've done uh, just talking to our audience anything really we just it's kind of all good to go you just move the camera around and film what you need to do like we put out still like 70 videos a week between YouTube Facebook Instagram TikTok Snapchat Rumble wow we make a lot of content stuff so this thing's always like a hot set we're filming down here pretty much like nine to noon every day some days nine to five and uh, that's just it. That's the job of being an online content creator. But if you guys are in Hamilton, you're invited to come by, check it out. Maybe you want to film a video here. You want to sit on the set. I've had some kids from the local university come by. Over the years, plenty of people that are aspiring creators have come to just uh, check it out, see what we're up to. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's like, uh, it's, it's like 10 years of work, you know. I'll, I'll put into one room. And uh, it's a good buzz when you come down here because it's all really like turn on the lights, turn on the camera up and just make some content. Today's news. Man be goes viral for, I don't know. The Simpsons predicted that Michael McCrudden would move to Hamilton, Ontario. Da -da 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 -da. Um, yeah, I've kind of got the content creation thing down to a, to a science. I'd say from the time we pick a story to the time the video goes up. It's about 24 hours, but we could do it in 12. Uh, in today's day and age, just the media moves so fast and like so much stuff is uh, just happening and trending. So like, you know, we're pretty, pretty uh, smooth, lean, mean operation. It's pretty, pretty good. Like I run my own media company, essentially. It's like a, a news page or a celebrity tabloid all from the basement of my home which, um, I don't know, it's a pretty, pretty unique accomplishment. When I walk down the street and meet the neighbors, you know, everyone's like, I'm a lawyer, or I, or I coach the soccer team, or I make YouTube videos. They're like, what the fuck is that? So, you know, I, think, I, th I don't think life would have gone any other way. My dad's like, of course you do this. Um, I was always a creative guy, and uh, just a way that allows me to kind of express all the ideas in my head, you know? And there's always a new celebrity. That's kind of the beauty of it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You don't got to go home, but you got to get the fuck out of here. Seriously, I have a, I have a Zoom call. You got to go. Carol, say bye. I'm, I'm the mean guy.